All right, guys, so uh, I did some research search on the internet to find out the uh, exact name of the problem. There's a technical name, like I knew what it was, but I didn't know the name for it, and it's called Rod Knock. I'll show you here. And, um, so, let's see if there's a piston down here so I can show you. Go through the other side here. I ain't claustrophobic. <laughs> Too bad if you were. Okay, so. There's a piston. There's a piston there. And it's at the lowest point here. It's gonna be good for me to show you guys. And this straight piece of metal in the middle, this one here, it's called a uh, uh, connecting rod, and it connects, it's a rod that connects the piston to the crankshaft here, and this bottom part, this little C here, it's called connecting rod cap, and this whole part here is connecting rod bearing. Now, as you can see here, there's no play. Look, I wiggle it from side to side. There's nothing. Nada. From this way, there's a little bit. That's fine because the oil has to get in through there. But this way, like, sideways to the engine, there's nothing. And all of them, except... See that one? Nothing. But look at, check out the last one. Right there. Alright, so either that bearing is worn out and it's just a little sh piece of metal that you you can actually keep the cap if it's not bad, too bad, which it isn't in this case because I didn't drive it like this. But if you just persist on driving it with the knocking, then it will destroy this part here and then we'll have to replace the, uh, the whole thing and that's going to be expensive because this is not one piece of metal here this here is steel but inside there's just a little thin uh, that's what's actually called the bearing there's a thin piece of softer metal right and that wears out uh, hope, but, I, but since all of them are really tight I'm thinking that maybe somebody just didn't know what they were doing and just um, uh, what they did is just they just didn't tighten it properly. But if not, I'll just buy some a new bearing. Pretty cheap, I think it costs like five bucks from Rock Auto. And I'll put it in. But what I'd like to show you as well, just give me a few minutes so that I can get out of here. myself out like a worm. Yeah. See. 
and that's that of course like that's what's making all the noise I mean, it might not sound loud now but at 600 and more rpms that really gets loud so I'll remove this I'll just unloose, loosen these bolts and check it check the inside see how thick the bearing is if there's like deep holes and scratches and it's bad right and I'll show you that later but uh, before I do that I just want to show you the uh, the um, oil pan But uh, what I'd like to show you still is the uh, amount uh, right here. You'll see here that you can actually see the metal, the, the, the steel here. It's oily, but now here there's a big chunk of thick grease. No metal chunks, fortunately. Let's check that out. Look. And it's just grease. Now, of course, this car is, you know, 60, 60 years old, or 55, something like that, over 50 years old. And what happened is, see, some of the, the there's the, uh, down there's the, uh, the bolt for removing the oil, changing the old, old oil. But uh, obviously, there's always a little bit of oil left. And over the years, that just that oil just thickens and hardens. But uh, certainly, this is not good because the engine, the, the when you just put no, new oil in, it just gets dirty because there's this, there's just so much junk there. So you will have to change. Uh, it's a very, it's just gonna wear out your oil out pretty quick. And um, so if you if you have some some classic cars, old cars that have been stopped for a long time I definitely highly recommend you remove the oil pan and remove that junk there right uh, if you watch some of my other videos a uh, car that's been stopped I, uh, the DeSoto I had to actually do that to the uh, to the, the, the inside of the engine right here it's just the oil pan as you've seen there on, on uh, on the uh, everything's nice and clean, just oily, no grease, right? Because that's what 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 it turns into. And it's actually like white in some places, but it's just see that look. It's actually white there, but fortunately, uh, there's no big chunks of metal, right? That's what the. Fuck. Yes, it's Halloween. <laughs> so, uh, I will clean that out. No point in showing you guys. I'll just dump some gas, diesel, or something in there. I mean, I'll take or remove off all the excess, of course, excess. And um, then just clean it off with towel, paper towel, whatever. But, um, like I said, you know, that junk just mixes in with the new oil. And uh, then it's just not new oil, right? Okay, so back to the car. I'm gonna remove that. Now the thing that I'm not sure is, the manual says to tighten the, uh, the bolts here on the, uh, the connecting rod bearings to 27 to 30 pounds of uh, sorry foot pounds but it says there's a parenthesis that says dry now this is not dry so um, I imagine I'll have to tighten it to a little bit less but there I mean there shouldn't be a problem tightening a little more that's the good thing about these cars you know these things are cast iron they're not gonna break there's always a lot of you know room to play around with a lot of room for error. I was uh, listening to this video 
um, today on YouTube, and the guy was talking about a Mercedes that you can only use a 91 fuel uh, gas on it. Otherwise, <laughs> it'll basically destroy the engine. That's so fucking pathetic. No, I even dump diesel in this car for the, uh, for the gas. You know, there's no problem. My car is so full of shit. I'm like a moody girlfriend in a bad period. So fucking sensitive. Anything and everything. But I'll just try to... Uh, you know what, I'll just... Uh, just hang around. I'm not gonna get a good angle here. Let's see, let's see. I don't know what you guys can see from there, but... I'm just gonna remove those two nuts there. Guys, these, these bolts are really high uh, carbon bolts, they're really high quality. Bolts from the oil pan, it's just unbelievable. Been there for over 50 years, and they came out, I just loosened them up a bit with the wrench, and they came out, and I, the rest I could just uh, remove it with my fingers. Unbelievable. Modern bolts, oh shit, fucking nightmares. But uh, you know those little shitty bolts for like the, the head of the engine, and you can't tighten it, not even a tiny bit more, or you know, they're just fuck full of shit. I might just have to tap this a little bit. They're supposed to be pretty tight. these slots here for hmm. over there there's some slots as well
deadline, a little tap, just to loosen it up. It's coming. You know, I've seen some some videos of other cars. And there's just modern cars. They're just so much play. You know, they're only you know like a couple of years old. They're already all fucked up. These cars, man, we're 50 years old. Look at the other ones. They don't even move. This one, I'm just thinking that wasn't put in properly. Just too loose here. That does happen. Because right, th these th these things were put in by hand, not machines. It might have just been, you know, a worker in a bad day. Be careful not to hit the threads. It's coming. Very lightly, See, just very lightly, and they're coming. They're coming out nice and easy. Remember, just don't hit. Don't just hit just one side. Just both sides. Oh no, that. Yeah, it looks like this bearing is just completely done. Yeah, it's hoping for the best, but yeah, I'll show you guys. But this is just a There's the, uh, uh, I took this part out, right? Now you see this part is just steel, but uh, you won't be able to see it there right now, but I can feel with my finger there's a lot of scratches. It's not nice and smooth and shiny, but um, I'm going to remove the old. See, look at that. Look at that. There's the old uh, bearing right there. It's really fucked up. Damn guys, and I was on my way to meet a girl. Shit. So, yeah, me and my baby are gonna have some fun. And this little piece of metal here fucked it up. Well baby, if you're watching this video, <laughs> that's why I didn't make it to you. Well, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Damn, it even scratched the, uh, shit, it even scratched the, uh, camshaft. Damn. It's just so worn out, look, look at that. It's supposed to be pretty thick. It's really bad. But, uh, won't come out now because it's actually oh well, I'll take it out later but <sighs> well I'll put a it's hard to remove it with one hand won't be able to guys sorry but uh, you can see there I'll, I'll bring some light just give me a second
There. Let's look at that. That's pretty, pretty bad. The camshaft is pretty thick, but it will. But since it's already sort of pitted, the new new bearing will wear out fairly quickly. But it will also cause the uh, the camshaft to become smooth again. So, ah, damn. Well, I guess that's that's what. Uh, uh, remember the uh, the oil pan? I guess that's uh, a good part of that junk is from from there. So, Let's see, it actually moves around. Clean that up a little so you can see. You can see uh, I'm just clean it up so you guys can see a little bit better. Here's the. Uh, Cam, sh the uh, sorry, the connecting rod bearing cap. That's what it's called. As you can see, it's, it's, it's lots of like lines. There's scratches. They're not good, but it's still fairly. It's still rounded, so we'll we'll be able to to fix it. No problem. Right, just buy a new bearing. Throw that in. Maybe even polish it off. Clean the oil off so you guys can see a little bit better, but uh, that's that's a problem. I didn't really need a tow truck for that, but I just rather uh, since it's metal to metal. When you hear that sound, guys, it's a terrible sound. Metal to metal, then it's just uh, uh, it's it's not good to just keep driving. I'm real picky about my, my baby blue. It's supposed to be shiny and you can see there's just like lots of lines. Still not bad, you know, nothing. Can't be, f you know, just polish it, it should come out. Not a big deal. No, I'm not gonna, the engine's not dead, nothing like that. It's gonna wear out a little quicker, but I think they cost like three dollars each, less than five bucks. Clean, but uh, just a little sad about the camshaft. The camshaft did get uh, scratched. But um, I mean, the good thing with these cars is you can still keep using them. This was a modern car. This whole connecting rod would have just blown up. Yeah, but see you guys, that's why you should always change your oil, put in proper oil. put in too thick oil then it's, there's not proper lubrication so my little experiment certainly didn't help but well, this is not a big problem I was struggling the whole day to remove this to try to remove the oil pan but that's just because uh, I was just so frustrated I wasn't thinking clearly but uh, next time if I have to do this again It'll take me just a few minutes to to change this, so you know it's you know it's just a matter of putting new new bearings in, and like I said, they're pretty cheap. Uh, thanks to Rock Auto, those guys are great, man. Just great. So you know it's not a big deal. If it was a modern car, just 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 to be able to get to the oil pan to do this job. Oh fuck. Thousands of dollars, big fucking holes, big fucking shit everywhere.
probably broken. The connecting rod would probably be broken. Uh, but I will have to remove the piston through the top, so I will have to change the gasket, the head gasket as well. Uh, probably have to buy a new gasket, or might be able to use the, the new, the uh, reuse the, the one I had since it's it's actually new. But um. Another bit of work, and I'll have to wait for the uh, bearings to get here. Um, so that's what we're going to have to do. And of course, we'll have to put new bearings on the connecting rod, right? There, there are halves, right? There are two halves of a circle, right? Let's see there. It's a little bit less, but it's, it's supposed to be a complete circle. It just isn't. But, uh, so sweetheart, that's why that's why I didn't make it to you. But uh, just wait a couple of days, and uh, I'm back on the road. And by the way, I should uh, okay, back to you. Have some fun. <laughs> but uh, all right, back to the, to the video here. Um. I mean, since it's open and the bearings are fairly cheap, you might as well, if you ever do this, just go ahead and change all of them. Uh, so, don't just change one of them. Might as well just change all of them. Alright, all right, guys, so... Uh, thanks for watching once again. Bye-bye.